explain to you about AI translators. We are currently using a lot of translators. Translators help us when we do our homework or when we read English books or when we have to communicate with foreigners. In the past, the translators was done by humans who were familiar with the language to be translated. Through the ages, various translating technologies were developed to help translate. Translators are called machine translation. The older translators separated sentences into words. Translate the meaning to the corresponding to the word and then combine the word to form sentences. For this reason, the meaning of the words was were translated differently from the flow of the sentence or the sentence was not smooth. The example of the, the previous translator showed that it is obviously not the meaning. Let's say the, let's say the sentence. This word means something. Never, kelto, again, tashi. It separates the sentence into the word and translates the meaning and then combines the name, and this is the result. This technique was used, this technique is the RMBT, rule based machine translation. It is to grasp words by algorithm, translate them, and then consider the order of sentence composition to this language. You can see the mechanism here separating the sentence, translating, and then recombining the sentence. The next applied technique is the statistical machine translation. It is the technique that finds out that a meaning is used by statistically a lot when translating a word and puts it out as a result of translating. In case of you, it has the meaning 당신, you, 아, 당신, 너, 그래. Statistically, 당신 is used the most, so it translates you as 당신. Currently, NMT, Neural Network Machine Translation, is a technology that is used widely now. Unlike the previous two techniques, which used to identify sentences in terms of words, the similarities between the two sentences were identified and studied, <coughs> and when similar sentences are subsequently produced, the translation is provided using the learning data. As you can see here, the result is different from the older translation. It is different, and uh, this famous translation became better. Suppose there is a solid state. First, put the word "mokda" in the space. Near it, there are words related to "mokda," such as "mokda," "mokoda," and "mokoshita." In the similar, in the similar space, the word "mokda" can have various dimensions. Depending on this dimension, you can relate the. We can relate to their words. For example, words that can be used in Mokta, such as food name, chicken, pizza, and cake, can also have their own relationship with the word Mokta and be located in the space. In this way, words and phrases from relationship and can be mapped with the space. The factor value of the word is called the word representation. Words used in translation are converted into 200 dimensional word represented values. So the picture, is, picture of the translation is very bright with the neural, neural network translation. So you can see the NMT technologies in the Papago. As most of us use the translator every day, it has much to be improved. Thank you.